the first time that I put a gi on was in 2000 uh, on the processor Francisco Salvador. Um, after I moved out to the U.S., I started training at Triton Fight Center. Uh, I've been training at Triton Fight Center for seven years now. I have been competing on the past three years, uh, pretty much doing seven, seven to ten competitions a year. I have done IBJJF, Nagas, and other tournaments. Like many people, the first time that I saw Jiu Jitsu was uh, Hoist Gracie on the Ultimate Fighter. I saw this little guy fighting all these big guys and beating them up. After that, I just started trying to find a school. Um, then I found that school in Venezuela. Once I moved out here, I started looking for a school, but at the time, uh, Oklahoma didn't have any schools. In 2005, I found uh, I find Pete Wilhelm. Um, he was a teacher at Triton Fight Center. And since then, I haven't, I haven't stopped. I pretty much breathe Jiu Jitsu. Everything that I do has to do uh, Jiu Jitsu related. On the Triton Fight Center, I have learned um, the brotherhood of Jiu Jitsu. It is really cool to be under the association of Enato Tavares. Um, like no other schools, Master Tavares is a competitor still. He's the head instructor of the association. He's still a competitor. Uh, have won multiple tournaments and he's been uh, doing Jiu Jitsu over 30 years. Also, uh, Professor Wilhelm, he's uh, well known and he's also been He's our instructor and he also competes. Um, our school is really uh, competition oriented, uh, but more than anything, uh, we're a family. My inspiration to this moment not only is the competition, um, competition gives me a lot of drive, but it is also my brothers at the school and the association that every time that I help them teach the technique or they have a question for me, I'm always there for them and they're always there for me. Uh, so all my training partners, all my teammates, they're, they're my inspiration to continue on improving, uh, helping the team, helping myself and helping them out. Every time that I shake hands to go to the mat, to, to go to a, a tournament, when I would shake hands, it's just a battle. Um, you forget about anything, all the nervous before, all that time, um, all that training, you know they, there's no way that that person can beat you because they had to have, 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 to have trained harder than you have. As a brown belt, I have competed probably five, six times in big tournaments this year. Uh, starting the year, I competed uh, in Portugal at the uh, European Open. Um, I also competed at the Houston Open and the Dallas Open, Pan Americans. Uh, and my next big tournament is going to be the Asian Open. This time for the Asian Open, I'm planning on to uh, give one of the hardest training that I have done. Um, not only I'm representing this time my team, but I'm also representing the, the, the state. The, the U.S. 2012 has been a good year for me. Uh, I have sponsored, I have somebody that is is being really loyal to me and they help me out a lot. Uh, shout out to the Hyper, Hyperfly family and the Do or Die family. Um, they're really good to me, they're really good to the team. Um, so shout out for them. I'm Omar French. I live Jiu Jitsu, I breathe Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu is my life. I live the Jiu Jitsu lifestyle.